I just finished climbing Gaji San twice and Unmun San once. If you'd like to find out how, make sure to stick around till the end of the video for some tips and advice on what to do or maybe not to do when climbing these mountains. It's another Sunday morning, seven o'clock in the morning, and I'm off to Gajisan. But this time I'm gonna hike to the top of Gajisan and I'm hoping to climb across the ridge to get to Unmunsan. the intersection that takes you either to the uh, Songnam tunnel or to Gajisan. Uh, in the last video, the previous video, previous climb to Gajisan, I said I took the east uh, side of the mountain up and the west side down and I commented saying that uh, that would have been my preferred way of hiking because the west side seemed um, rather tricky. But now, this time around, I took the west side up, uh, meaning from the parking lot, and uh, it is an endless uh, road of staircases. I mean, an endless staircase, but um, it's a lot quicker. It felt like I got here a lot quicker. And from here on, uh, the road is not as steep um, as the initial hike up to this point. It's quarter after eight right now, which means I've been hiking for about an hour and give or take 15 minutes uh, which is a pretty good timing I think uh, and I assume that within the next hour or so I'll be up on top of Gajisan and then we'll take the uh, trail along the ridge to Unmunsan. They say that curiosity killed the cat but in this case curiosity uh, made me open the emergency box. These first eight emergency boxes can be found along, along the mountains if you ever need uh, there is a padlock on it and it turns out that the secret code to the padlock is 119 Which is the emergency number for emergencies in Korea? Let's have a look what's inside because I was always curious to find out Well, there you go Hydrogen peroxide ethanol sports spray Here's some band-aids uh, I don't know what these are Sangri gum, and there are some band-aids in here as well. Plaster, more bandages and such. If you didn't know, now you know. I've climbed 588 stairs, and we're pretty close to the summit. I'm feeling pretty good. I would say that uh, the left side or the, the west side of, of uh, Songnam Sa is a better way to hike, to climb up. It feels a lot less strenuous. It's, uh, it takes a lot less time. It's quicker. So I would say for the initial hike that would be the better place to go. Right there behind me, that's Gajisan. And along the ridge, the sunny side, you get a nice view of well the sunny side i'm mountain goat my way up to the top last few meters scamper all the way staircase chiseled out in the face of the mountain Whoa. look at that view as always morning block there is the peak And it turns out that the way to Hun Moon Sun is to follow that ridge and that could be it over there. So that's what I'm going to do after taking a little rest and we'll see how far we'll get. Not as nippy as it was last time. It's a little windy. It's a lot more acceptable and accessible.
guess if I follow this ridge, it should take me over there. And that should be Unmun San. I'm on the other side of Gaji San, on my way to Unmun San. And it's quiet. Absolutely quiet. Woo! 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 Echo! It's not often that you find yourself in Korea in a place devoid of traffic, sounds, noise, and only one idiot screaming at the top of his lungs. The way past Gajisan is relatively smooth. It's a ridge going downhill mainly, and it's gonna reach a certain point before it starts to ascend back to Unmunsan. So that's gonna be another steep hike. Really enjoying this uh, this hike here. The scenery is nice. There's a lot of leaves on the ground. There's nobody around. The sun is peeking out through the clouds. You get a nice view of mountain ranges. It's absolutely quiet. It's beautiful. Beautiful. This is the first sign in a while to tell me that I'm on the right path. On Munsan, 2.8 kilometers. I've reached a fork in the road. On Munsan is this way, one and a half kilometers. Sangyang Maul to the left. On Munsa to the right. But we're heading up to the mountain. The way down the down Gajisan of to the Unmun San side is uh, quite treacherous, the, mainly because of a lack of for footholds or footing. It's all dirt, gravel, uh, interspersed with branches that make it even more difficult for you to go down quicker because you gotta watch your steps so you don't split, I mean slip and fall and trip. But I think I'm gonna have a seat for a couple of minutes and rest, because that's another kilometer and a half up the hill, which is a lot. And I gotta rest my bones. Well, that's two peaks in one day. That's 2,480 meters. Ask me how to climb 2,480 meters in Korea. Climb two mountains, one back to back. And the reason why this counts, because you get a descent between Unmun San and Gaji San. You have to descend to ground, well, not zero, but pretty damn close. And then from there, you get to climb back up to Unmun San. <sighs> Dead tired. I have no idea how I'm gonna get back home. Don't know which way to go. Do I climb Gaji San again or not? This was fun, but now I gotta get my bones back on the way because uh, I've got. It took me about four hours to get up here, so I assume it's gonna take me about three to four hours to get back. And it gets dark around 4 30 ish in the mountains, so. It's snowing. Of all things, that's the last one I'd expect. I guess uh, temperatures are low enough for the rain to freeze on the way down. Thank goodness, because it would have been sucky to get rained on right now. Man, I'm exhausted. I've reached a semi-easy hike to back to Gajisan. It's two o'clock right now, and I assume I should be back in Gajisan in about 40 minutes or so. 
hopefully and then back down about an hour hour and a half maybe two who knows it took me only an hour to get up so maybe an hour back down which means i should be at the car by four hopefully It's not very often that we get snow in these parts of the country. Most of the snowfall occurs up in, uh, in the capital, uh, near Gangwondo, Gyeonggi-do, around there. Ulsan gets hardly any. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum, wie treu sind deine Blätter. Just as I predicted, or just as I assumed, the snow is just at, uh, at the top, above the 1200 meter uh, limit. We got, or I got down a bit lower, and it's just flat out raining here. No trace of, there haven't been any snow fall here. Well, I'm back at the parking lot. My car is just in sight. I was wrong on two counts. I underestimated the time it would take me to get off the mountain. It's raining, by the way. It's five o'clock right now. I assumed I'd be here by four. And the second thing I was wrong about, I thought it'd be dark around this time. I said the sunset would be about 4.30, which technically, when you look around, it's hidden behind clouds somewhere. So technically the sun has set. Anyway, it's five o'clock, I'm vanished wet, tired. I did an 11 hour hike today. Climbed Gajisan twice in one shot. Something to be proud of, I guess. And I'm dead tired and hungry. Very, very hungry. So off home we go. Make sure to subscribe, like the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Doodles.